Hey, what's going on guys? Luis here and welcome to the first PC build of 2016. I know it's been a while since I did the last one, but a lot of you guys have been requesting me to do another one like crazy. So here it is. And we're kicking it off this year with a $600 gaming PC that is Battlefront themed. So I thought it would be fun to do something different that not a lot of people are doing right now with PC builds, and that is to have a theme every now and then. Obviously the theme for this month is gonna be around Battlefront, which is a game that came out a little while ago, but it's still really fun to play. And this build is obviously not only gonna be able to play the game really well, but also be themed around the case and a few other parts. I'll explain a little bit better once we get uh, into the build, but as always with all my builds, all the parts are gonna be in the description down below so you guys can check those out and check the prices and availability. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the build. So kicking it off, we have the Bit Phoenix Neos in the black and blue configuration. And this is an ATX mid tower case from Bit Phoenix that looks straight out of Star Wars. It has support for micro ATX, ATX and mini ITX motherboards and also has seven PCI expansion slots. It's overall a pretty simple looking case but at the same time it's pretty stylish and packs a lot of features. You can find this case for around 60 bucks and it overall makes a great choice for this build. For the CPU we have the Intel Core i5-4440. This is easily one of the most affordable but powerful processors that you can get for the money. It's clocked in at 3.1 gigahertz and it's also a quad core processor. It's a fourth generation processor and comes with the latest Intel hyper threading technology for better multitasking and performance. You can usually snatch it for less than $200 and it's definitely gonna keep this build running pretty fast. For the motherboard, we have the ASRock H97M Pro 4 motherboard and this one comes in an ATX form factor and has support for the latest fourth generation Intel Core processors. It also has a total of six SATA 3 ports uh, six USB 3.0 ports, and one PCI Express 3.0 slot. ASRock is an extremely reliable brand for motherboards, and it definitely packs a lot of features to make this build even better. And believe it or not, you can actually buy this motherboard for less than $90, which makes it extremely affordable and a perfect option to use. Moving on to memory, we have the Crucial Ballistic Sport 8GB of DDR3 RAM. Now since we are trying to keep the budget below $650, 8GB of RAM is definitely the sweet spot for gaming. Crucial definitely has some of the most inexpensive memory kits and this is definitely one of them. For about $38 you get plenty of performance even for gaming at higher resolutions. And now for storage I chose to go with the Western Digital Caviar Blue Hard Drive and this is easily one of the most popular picks for someone when they are building a gaming PC and it's for a good reason. With 1TB of storage and a speed of 7200RPMs you definitely get a lot of performance for what you're paying and it's also pretty cheap coming in at less than $50. It's definitely not nearly as fast as an SSD but for what you're paying you get plenty of storage and value to it. And now we're definitely getting into the good stuff. For the graphics card I chose to go with the Gigabyte AMD Radeon R9 380X and this is part of AMD's latest generation of graphics cards that improves in a lot of ways over its predecessor the R9 280X. It's clocked in at 970 megahertz, it has four gigabytes of VRAM, and comes in at around $220. One of its new features is the Windforce cooling system with triangle cooling technology, which drastically improves the internal temperature of your PC. This card definitely has all the power you need for gaming at 1080p and then some, easily one of the best budget cards out there. And finally for the power supply we have the EVGA 500 watt bronze certified PSU and this is a fairly standard power supply coming from EVGA that has enough power to keep this build running pretty smooth. It also comes with a 3 year warranty and a guaranteed 85% efficiency under heavy loads. So as of the recording of this video, if you check the link in the description where all the parts are listed, the budget should be below $650. Uh, but just keep in mind that over time this budget may change because of price changes and mail-in rebates and all that. Uh, so make sure you check that constantly. But hope you guys enjoyed this build and let me know if you have any suggestions for the next one in the comments down below. And hope you guys keep watching this series. Definitely enjoy making them. More PC videos to come and just tech videos in general. Hope you guys stay tuned and I'll catch you guys on the next one.